During the month of May, we are celebrating the mighty Clan McKinnon, and we have collected our five favourite facts about the clan. Fact 1. Let's begin at the very beginning. Our first fun fact relates to the origins of Clan McKinnon, specifically their name. McKinnon is one of the first seven clans of Seol Alpin, who trace their origins back to Alpin, the father of Kenneth, first king of the Scots. Specifically, the McKinnons claim descent from Alpin's third son, Prince Gregor, and the clan takes their name from his descendant Findus, or Finnegan, the fourth clan's chief. McKinnon is the Anglization of the Gaelic McFingan. The English name was not widely adopted until the 18th century. Fact 2. Today you'll find McKinnons all over the world, particularly in Australia, New Zealand and the USA. However, the clan's ancestral heartland can be found in their Inner Hebrides on Scotland's west coast. At their peak, the McKinnons held land on Skye, Arran and Mull. The last clan territory was sold in 1791 in the aftermath of the failed Jacobite Risings and the subsequent restrictions placed on the Highland clans. Fact 3. The clan has a close association with the Scottish Church. The McKinnon arms bear the heart of the St Columba holding the cross and one branch of the clan held the hereditary position at Abbots of Columbia's Abbey on Iona until the end of the 15th century. Another clan member, Neil McKinnon, was the first Protestant minister on the Isle of Skye. Appointed by the Episcopalian Minister of Strath in 1627, he was renowned for preaching in the Highland dress and never entered the pulpit without being fully armed. Fact 4. One historic McKinnon clan seat is the Castle of Dunnekin, Castle Mill, positioned in the brook commanding the narrow sound between Skye and the Scottish mainland. Legend states that the castle was originally owned by a Norse princess with the incredible name Saucy Mary. It is said that she regulated sea traffic through the Kyle of Loch Elsh using a large iron chain that was stretched across the sea. She used this to levy a toll on the passing ships, except those from her own country. When she died, she is said to have been buried to the west of Broadford on Skye, under a cairn with her face pointing towards her native land. Although some people like to think that Findanus, namesake of the clan, acquired the castle through marriage to Saucy Mary, it is more likely that the McKinnons acquired the site during the 16th century. Fact 5. The McKinnons were embroiled in a long feud with their neighbours, the Maclean's, through much of the medieval period. During the 14th and 15th centuries, the Maclean's were powerful associates of the MacDonald Lord of Isles, which led to the increased tension of the McKinnons. One episode in this feud dates back to 1400, when the Lord of the Isle set out to return to his stronghold at Ardonish Castle, after spending some time hunting on Mull. As the chief of Clan McKinnon was stepping in his gallow to follow, Lachlan and Hector MacLean fell upon him and killed him, before disarming his men and seizing his galley to follow the Lord of the Isles. The MacLeans forced the Lord to grant them immunity for the deed and were not punished. We hope you enjoyed this insight into the history of Clan McKinnon. If you want to find out more, visit the clan pages and blog on our website at scotlandshop.com. You can also sign up for our newsletter to receive more fun clan facts direct to your inbox. And don't forget to subscribe to the Scotland Shop YouTube channel.